Y'all see it. The transporter is leaving the building. It is leaving the building. Well, the street. It has just dropped off the Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird is here. It has made it all the way from Washington, D.C. Y'all see it. This is a clean motherfucker, man. The Priest Classic. Y'all see them dating? Ooh, he ain't fucking around. Look at this top, man. Come on, man. He said he just got this interior done. I like some of it. I like the perforated part. But he want to update it. So we're going to have to update it. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it too much. But, yeah, I see a little bit like too much pad right there or something. But it don't look bad. But I guess he want to deluxify it. So we're going to bring it up to date. I ain't going to butcher it though because this car is too goddamn clean. But uh, we're going to make it, they're going to make it work. We're going to make it do what it do. Tweety Bird has arrived. That's the only thing is right here. It's a little ding right there. That's the only thing I see. So they can get that out. Go to Dent Doctor. Dent Doctor can get this little ding out right there. Otherwise, it is clean, 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 clean. It's about to clean this donk out of the scene. We're going to make it happen. We're going to bring it all the way up to date. Operation 1975. I can't believe it's not butter. That's what we're going to call this motherfucker. I really ain't post this car too much because this car is like worth gold on the street. 75, all original with the D's and V's. Yeah. So I ain't post this much. I don't want nobody to know I had this motherfucker. But these are the guts that came with it. They practically knew. And he said he didn't like them. He said he don't like the door panels or some other shit. So basically... I'm about to remix this bitch real quick. I can't go real crazy on this one because he's a traditional kind of guy. He want a little jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to give him the uh, traditional with a little ratchet hoodness to it. Nothing too, too out of the ordinary. Still got to be clean because this is an all original classic motherfucker. So you're going to have to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that to it. But I ain't going to do too much stupid shit. The dash, I ain't gonna fuck with the dash. I don't know if you want no white dash in that bitch. Uh, so I'm gonna build a, a new console because the console he has in this one is right there. It has an iPad, iPad mini, and it has some type of, uh, that's how they put the cup holders on this bitch. Let me show you. I never seen no shit like this before. So that's the cup holder, it's just right there. He don't like that shit. Uh, it got the USB ports down there. The console is decent, but it's not something that he really wanted. He wanted something more up to date, flashiness. I understand what he's talking about. It's nothing that he wants. So I'm, I'm gonna change that and make a console that comes up and goes over to the middle of the seat because he has no armrest. So I have something to go down there and goes down the console, still incorporate the iPad mini. See, this dash is mint condition, so I'm not going to fuck with it. Because if I do something on this dash that he don't like, you can't change that shit back. So I'm not going to fuck with that dash. Not, not, not. I'm not going to do it. Because he's not, he won't let me do what I want to do. Go full, outblown, custom on this bitch. So I'm not fucking with it. I'm not going to do it. So, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'd rather for him to say, why you didn't do that? And be able to get it done than being like, why you do that and can't change it? So, I'm going to leave that bitch alone. But I'm about to strip this bitch down and um, remix this motherfucker. So, you can see, it ain't bad. It's actually decent to me. And he don't like this material. This is actually a latte. 
I know it is, because I can tell how it holds a smudge. You can smudge this shit, and it is more you wipe it, the dirtier it gets. So this is Elante. I don't like. I used to like Elante because it's soft, but uh, I'm gonna change. I got some other shit. It's white. We're gonna keep it white. We're gonna keep the white perforated look. We're gonna change the pattern on it. Um, and I'm gonna put some material, white material that has a stain guard on it, so you can just wipe it off. Ink, anything, you just wipe it off. So here it goes. Taking apart a perfectly good interior to deluxify it, if that's even the word. So let's deluxify this motherfucker under further inspection. You know what I do. Let me show y'all something. You see that shit right there? That's unacceptable, man. Come on now. I don't know. Why would they leave a big ass gap in their shit like that? I don't feel bad now because some shit that I think I be doing that I know, that I see, that I might have, could have did a little bit different, but I don't sometimes because I get like fed up with shit, but then I see shit like this and I be like, these motherfuckers really don't give a fuck. They just say, oh, this nigga got a nice car. Let's do it with the least amount of shit, charging the maximum amount of money. And send him on his motherfucking way. So that's what they do. So. Let's go. Alright. Still inspecting. Look at this. <laughs> Look how big that hole is. That is really tripping. You only use a, use a quarter inch phone. Usually on the bottom of these you use half inch. So. I don't know. I mean, you can use whatever, but, and then, I don't know how, I don't like how all that is, because usually, when I do these seats over, I usually, you know, make my pattern off the old people, whoever did it before me, I usually pattern off their pattern, as far as this shit right here, and then the actual shape of the seat, but, uh, I see I ain't gonna be able to do that with this one, but at least they lines are straight, you know, they middle is damn near the middle. So, you know, it, this this seat right here moves back and forth. So that's going to vary uh, each time you move this motherfucker up and back and forth, back and forth, recline, uh, not reclining, but, uh, you know, lift the seat up. That that It's made to shift, sort of seat uh, fold up right, but that's no big deal. But at least his lines is pretty much straight. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I can't use this as a pattern. Oh, I can, but I have to, like, see, that's too much. I have to. Like, cut it and estimate different shit. But this is fucked up right here, man. At least when you cut the hole, at least cut it so it's all the way around. And then put a stitch around there so it won't separate. But, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. You know, there's a lot of stuff that people don't see when they pick their cars up. Uh, it's a lot of people who can do upholstery. But a lot of people can't do car upholstery or... Custom upholstery. Now, custom upholstery is when, like, shit like that, you got to make something. Because it's usually a plastic piece that this sits down, squeezes through there. So, in the custom world, you have to make something that's the same or at least does the same thing. Well, he could have just cut a hole, you know what I'm saying, put a stitch around it so it won't look stupid. And then you got to stick the, the seat belt in up through here first. And then bolt it in through the bottom. Because he probably try to set the seat in here and then try to pull it up through. It ain't going to work. I mean, it will work. Take a, it's just a lot of time, man. You just fuck all that. Put the seat belt in there first when you put the seat in there. Then it's going on the bottom and screw it into the side. But anyway, I'm just showing the shit I find when I take these motherfuckers apart. So since I'm a one-man show today, I'm going to take the tops of the seats off. And then I'm going to remove the bottom. That way I can pick it up. I can't pick this whole thing up by myself. Shit be flopping all around. Even though I got that uh, deuce in the quarter strength, you know what I'm saying? I've been lifting this shit up many, 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 many years. I got that deuce in the quarter strength, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I gauge my strength. They be like, man, how much you bench press? Man, I bench press about two deuce in the quarters. <laughs> well, on to the next multiple shit. Multiple tries. And the power of editing. I came up with a new console, as you can see. Uh, the iPad mini. Will fit right there in the middle, and um, two cup holders, 
instead of that two on the side and I gotta it just fits so tight right now so I gotta continue to trim along the side right there and close down by the bottom because it's kind of tight but I want it tight and then on the other side as you can see it's tight as fuck back there so I'm just trimming it I gotta finish putting other pieces in here and shit like that and you see my rough cuts yeah it ain't straight but I fill all that in and um yeah it's coming it's coming y'all that's a better better look it brings the iPad up a little bit higher god damn that compressor but it's way over there so I can still talk but anyway um it brings it up a little bit higher and bring the cup holders up a little bit higher so it'll be right here and they are almost straight up it's a little tilt to them but not too much so it ain't gonna they ain't gonna matter um but yeah box this off sand it put my sides on uh i probably just put the caprice logo or some shit on the side i don't know what i'm gonna do right there caprice classic but uh yeah so console mock-up all right, one day action y'all one day action now i can take this seat out because i need to have it exactly the seat was exactly where the customer left it at so i didn't fuck with the seat so Hopefully that's the way he ride with that seat all the way back like that because it fits in there tight. You can't move that bitch nowhere. So seats gonna come out, console's gonna come out. One more test, couple more test fits. Make my sides. Add my LEDs. Power wires already in there. Let's get it. So I had to go into the collection of my seats so I can get a donor seat to get the correct patterns. So I got this, this donk seat. That everything fits tight. You see how that fit right there? You see how these plastic things right here where the seat belt supposed to go through? So I'm gonna take this one apart and I'm gonna um make my patterns off that. So I know it's the correct pattern and it fits correctly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And um I'm actually gonna take this part off too, the bottom part right there make my patterns off that one because that one's the correct bottom and everything fits tight whoever did this seat did it the right way even though it's a it's an ugly ass design but you know i keep certain certain seats i keep for donor seats and certain seats i throw away so this one i kept so i'm gonna um make the patterns off this one